Our first recipient who is present today is Ms. Sarah Butler, Central Coast New Tech Principal. Next is Tracy Cajas, who teaches at Harlow. <laughs> Amber Dervich, English teacher at Arroyo Grande High School. Natalie Manasar, math teacher in Tosa at Mason Middle School. feel very formal saying, David Osterbauer's teacher at Mesa Middle School. And, and finally, present tonight, Samantha Wagner from Napoma Elementary. Now, while this picture is going, you might be wondering, what's in that beautiful red box? So our 20-year service recipients are receiving a nice stone um, red apple that says, for 20 years of dedicated service to the Lucia Unified School District. Okay, then you all have to also then look at me. Don't. Okay, ready? So now we'll be celebrating our certificated retirees. And we begin with Ms. Julia Bowles, principal of Napoma Elementary School. And I failed to mention Ms. Bowles has been with us for 16 years. Yeah. <laughs> Next we have Nancy. Teaching for 35 years, Ann Elliott from Dorothea Lang.
Mr. MP. Serving for 28 years, the jokester in the back, Mr. Jim MP. Serving 33 years in Lucia Mara, Michelle Johnson, Oceana Elementary School. District speech pathologist Jennifer Ramirez. <laughs> Serving twenty eight years in our district, Deborah Shimando, principal. <laughs> Twenty-five years as a teacher, Miss <laughs> Sharon Scudder from Carla Elementary. Certificated retirees. <laughs> Separate so we can fit everyone, but they are receiving a nice glass dish in recognition of their retirement. So you can see what's in their pretty box. <laughs> You're okay. to, to celebrate our classified retirees, I'd like to invite, after service of 18 years as a classroom support IA, Ms. Rita Blackburn, who's currently at Fairgrove Elementary. <laughs> Serving eight years in our district in the transportation department, Ms. Penny Crow. It's very possible she's still working. It's been a, it's been a challenging year. Serving 21 years in food service, Laura Garcia. And in service for the last six years in the ITS department, Stephen Martinek. So 
we invite our classified retirees onto the stage? And principals, if you could please join us on the side table over here. Steve's got the right idea. He's ready. He's ready. Right? Vicky, right. okay. It's like you already knew what I was going to say. Thank you. I want to take this moment while our principals are getting ready. Um, this is really such a lovely night, and I get to be the speaker in the face. We have Olivia Vidal, Courtney Rodriguez, Linda Stewart, Kelly <laughs> Giesman. And so we'd like to celebrate our Teachers of the Year. Each of our teachers, uh, the process is uh, they're nominated and voted for by their staff. And I'm not going to do service to these individuals, but they're principals. And so I'd like to invite first uh, Mr. Dan Neff from Arroyo Grande High School. Usually my voice carries well enough. Uh, I'm only getting 30 to 60 seconds, so I'm going to actually read off the piece so I stay on track on time. Uh, it, is great, it is with great pressure that I announce that our teacher year for the year is Ms. Jenna Drain. Uh, Jenna does an amazing job inspiring and fostering our young eagles to blossom into incredible. She is an absolute rock star that is passionate about putting our students first and creating a wonderful learning environment. Congrats, Jenna. We are blessed to have you as part of our eagle family. Good evening. My name is Matt David. I'm the principal out at Branch Elementary, and tonight we're here to. Joey's been teaching for 29 years, 15 years at Branch Elementary, and as the resource specialist, Joey teaches all grades, uh, certainly demonstrating the spirit of the original two. She works with many of her students for several years before they take off to middle school, allowing her to form deep and lasting connections. Joey also supports our staff in a variety of ways, always looking out for their emotional well-being. You're first with a tissue box and first for a hug when people need it, so we really appreciate that. Uh, congratulations, Joey Brito. Good evening, I'm Stacey Russell, principal at Dana Elementary, and tonight I have the pleasure of recognizing our teachers recognize the importance of their position, and they work very hard every day to give their best. What stands out about Dana teachers is their collaborative spirit. They truly enjoy working together to ensure that they are effectively meeting the needs of all students. Our teachers are kind, friendly, and compassionate. I am proud of them all. Carolyn Dostal is going to be accepting on behalf of all of our Dana teachers.
Good evening, Debbie Schimandel, Principal of Lang, and I'd like to call our Teacher of the Year up, Yasmin Silva. Come on up. <laughs> And I already messed up, it's Hasmine Silva, <laughs> sorry. So congratulations, <laughs> congratulations to Hasmine. Ms. Silva has been a kindergarten teacher at Lang for four years. She is an amazing teacher that provides a positive classroom environment for her students. She provides her students with hands-on engaging activities to support their learning success. Ms. Silva is always ready to lend a helping hand and has taken on many leadership roles resulting in impact in our school community. She serves as our English learner site representative. She has a passion for seeing our English learner students succeed. She plans and organizes our ELAC meetings to give parents strategies to support. She invites guest speakers to the meeting to provide resources and information that is helpful for the families. Ms. Silva is a Lucy Amar graduate. She has shared her inspiring personal story with our families about her experiences successes as an English learner herself. Ms. Silva is an inspiration to all of us, and we are so fortunate to have her on our team. Congratulations. I'm Carol Littlefield Halfman, and I'm following Debbie's lead and asking Mandy Carter to come join me up here so I can talk about her. Mandy Carter! <laughs> so Mandy, Mandy is Fairgrove's Teacher of the Year. Is this just how it is? It's fitting that um, Mandy's up here right now because she's the first person I think I saw this morning and the last person I think I saw this afternoon. Um, because of how hard she works. She actually ended her day on just one of the most amazing um, special education meetings. It was just such a pleasure, and she is all that, all the time, for all her parents and students. But to read a little bit about Mandy, so congratulations, Mandy, on being Fairgrove's Teacher of the Year 23. Mandy is one of four special education teachers at Fairgrove. Specifically, Mandy serves as Fairgrove's Resource Specialist Program Teacher, who is currently K 39 students. Um, just, she's been a trooper. She's working so hard. The district is well aware of all of this, so none of this is a shock. <laughs> she's super supported, so we're just thankful for who Mandy is. Um, as a teacher, Mandy completes all academic assessments. Um, or as the RSP teacher, she the switch from special day class to resource specialist program because then she serves our community in so many other ways so she assists with our after school program for english learners she serves on our current instructional team and will be serving next year on our new guiding co um, and she also just contributes in every way that she can she's kind of an all shucks person I'm so glad that all of us at fairgrove get to work alongside of you each and every day <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm Petra Reynolds, the principal at Grover Beach Elementary, and I'd like to invite Ms. Alyssa Moore up to the stage. All right, so hardworking, kind, flexible, and creative are a few words that come to mind when I think 
you are a pillar of the Grover Beach sorry, Elementary. As the IB coordinator in TOSA, you work tirelessly to support teachers. You are a master educator who draws from your vast and varied, um, and varied experiences as a classroom teacher to help your colleagues improve their teaching practice and hone their craft. In your role as a mathematics intervention teacher, you bring joy and wonder into mathematics. You are a true constructivist teacher who carefully cultivates learning experiences that allow for discovery and inquiry. Your students love coming to your room to do math with Miss Moore. Um, Alyssa, you are also a longtime member of the IB leadership team. You create a And you are a joyful presence who plays music on Fridays with bubbles on the playground. There isn't an aspect of Grover Beach Elementary that doesn't benefit from your dedication, care, and expertise. We are lucky that you have chosen to share your talents with Grover Beach for the last eight years, and I'm so thankful to have you by my side as and as my friend. The school would not be what it is today without you, Alyssa Moore. Hello, everybody. I'm Michelle Neal, and I'm here filling in for Mrs. Logue tonight from Grover Heights. And I'd like to welcome up Sally Grable. OK, let's see if we can do this. Uh, Sally Grable has been a dedicated teacher in the Lucy Meyer School District for uh, 32 years. Uh, she has a passion for science and working with students of all ages. Here are some words that Grover Heights staff used to describe Sally. Loving, warm, sincere, pas compassionate, patient, devoted, gentle, welcoming, and dedicated. As we approach the end of the year, a busy time for all, it is a good time to remember the Sally often tells her students, you can do hard things. It is my great honor to recognize Sally Grable as Grover Heights Teacher of the Year. Good evening, uh, Deborah Webster, principal at Harlow, and I would like to welcome Miss Monica Pock up to the stage. <laughs> 30 seconds, I don't know, 60 maybe, and I've just lost 10, so here we go. Uh, Mrs. Pock is a tremendous educator who, pour, who pours her heart and soul into staff and families. Mrs. Pock is Harlow's resource specialist program teacher, providing special education to over 25 students at Harlow. Mrs. Pock exemplifies LMUSD's philosophy of our kids first. She works tirelessly to ensure that students with special academic needs, social emotional needs. <laughs> ah, I'm good. Okay, here we go. Another 10 seconds down the drain. Um, and our behavioral needs that are successful and enjoy learning. Her RSP program is a model for excellence in special education. Daily, you can see her happy students walking in the halls, headed to room 10. They're happy. Um, for their specialized instruction. Mrs. Pock is a dedicated educator who goes above and beyond for our Harlow community. She makes a great impact on Harlow in so many ways. Recently, she's been dubbed DJ Pock <laughs> <laughs> because of her, uh, I've lost my line, hold on. <laughs> because of her heart and support for the Harlow <laughs> Talent Show. She orchestrates all the music and technology, including our sixth grade promotion back to school night and open house. On any given day, you can find Mrs. Pock interacting positively with students, staff, and families at Harlow. Her love for students and education is evident in everything she does. 
We are overjoyed that Mrs. Clark has been chosen our Harlow Teacher of the Year. A well-deserved recognition for a very good excuse. <laughs> Ian Pinton, the principal of Judkins Middle School. Um, I'm really honored to substitute for Mr. Pinton, and I'd like to invite Jim. <clears throat> when Mr. Pinton shared with me that he wasn't going to be able to come tonight, I said, no problem, I got it. I know Joe, and it's going to be easy. So Mr. DeCheco serves as our special education teacher at Judkins Middle School. And uh, when I served as special education director, I was able to see more regularly how supportive he was and is of his students and their needs. He um, connects with them intellectually and challenges them beyond, but he also is phenomenal. He also co-teaches with general education teachers and his students have exhibited played so much growth. Um, he's also received historically the Employee Spotlight Award at his site. Um, he's the special education department head and he has led and facilitated um, And he's continuing his education. Uh, we're sad to see him go, but we are so proud of you for continuing your education to become a school psychologist. And we hope that you'll come back to Lucy Amar because you're such an amazing person and educator. So Karen, come on up. Hi, I'm Jennifer Bowen. I'm the principal of Alternative Education. And I have had the pleasure of working with Karen Hitchin for two different tours, I like to say. Uh, for more than 10 years, she and she has served uh, Team Lucy Amar for 36-ish. We weren't sure. She's, we say in alternative ed, she's number one, although on the district uh, seniority list, she's number two. But <laughs> she's number one in our hearts. Uh, she started out teaching at Oregon County High School, but eventually found her niche. Else. She has served students throughout her years with her special skill set and attributes. Compassion, flexibility, creativity, patience, and persistence. Those are just to name a few. She has been key to educating many of the district students in need of a specialized setting, including our teen parents, as the hands-on parenting education teacher, and through our independent study programs that were at Lopez High School, AG, and Napoleon. And now she's a key person, key teacher at Pacific View Academy. She has worn many hats and worked with so many different students. She's legendary on our campus and is a clear example of what it takes to be an excellent educator. Trying to describe such a stellar teacher in one short paragraph is very challenging, as all principals, I'm sure, feel. Um, here's what one of her peers said that I thought was perfect. Karen cares deeply about each and every student, and because her students know this, they use her help to overcome great obstacles. She is like a Jedi master, a wise sage who has crafted her skills through the years of dedication and practice. The many student success stories we hear uh, over the years when they come back to visit, and they do, um, prove that she is an effective educator. So congratulations, Karen. I'm Michael Fleshman, principal of Mesa Middle School, and I have the difficult yet honorable job of talking about Mr. Wayne Gamble tonight. Um, Mr. Gamble, as many if not most of you know, passed away suddenly this year, and um, 
I have the honor of talking about him, and so it's difficult. So I'm going to read what I wrote so I don't make a mistake and cry in front of all you guys. Um, anyway, Mr. Gamble was voted this, uh, this year, this school year's 2022-23 um, as Mason's Teacher of the Year for a lifelong dedication to teaching and making a positive impact on Mason. Suffice it to say, Lucy and Mar and the surrounding community are a better place because of Mr. Gamble. Unfortunately, Mr. Gamble passed away mid midway this year, uh, which was and is still a shock to the entire school district and county. Mesa is still reeling from his loss. The school and community miss him not only his talent, which by all accounts of anyone who saw him play at one of his many, in one of his many bands around the county was immense. But more immense was his ability to connect his students with music and life. Walking Mesa's campus throughout the years, here at uh, Mesa, one might witness him in the quad playing guitar with some students, marching his band throughout the school to practice for the winter parade, or you could just listen to the joyful and sometimes painful music middle school students made in his class. <laughs> the positive energy that he helped to create at Mesa is missed, as is he. Congratulations to Mr. Gamble on years of being a terrific teacher and human. Good evening, everyone. Uh, Michelle Case, can you come up, please? <laughs> Michelle Case is the epitome of what one thinks of when considering the description of teacher. Michelle is a quiet, behind-the-scenes force. She is knowledgeable in so many areas of education. Being a former special day class teacher gives her so many extra tools in her general and intervention teacher's toolboxes. Michelle is a teacher induction program mentor, student success team coordinator, instructional leadership team and guiding coalition member, check-in, check-out teacher, intervention teacher, and all-around go-to person. Frequently serving as a substitute teacher this year, in fact, today, PE. <laughs> She is friendly, funny, insightful, and never complains about the amount that's on her plate. She is empathetic to all. Staff trusts her in all realms. I couldn't agree more that Michelle Case was the perfect pick as Nipomo Elementary School's 2023 Site Teacher of the Year. Congratulations, Michelle. Good evening, John Denno, principal of Pomo High School. I'd like to respect the preference, or attempt to, the preference to not to have public recognition of our Teacher of the Year, so she can walk up as I speak. We are proud to have Kristen Cable as the Napomo High School Teacher of the Year. Kristen is a successful product of Lucia Marr, who began her career as a middle school teacher in Tehachapi, California. When returning to the Central Coast, we secured her as a math teacher and in six years as a member of the Titan team, she has earned and demonstrated leadership as a department chair and a member of our guiding coalition. Additionally, Kristen has assumed and excelled as a tip mentor, co-teacher, avid teacher, and instructional coach for Universal Design for Learning. As a result of her leadership, our math curricular teams have distinguished themselves in curriculum, instruction, and assessment. Through her efforts, our Algebra One team has implemented standards-based grading practices. Her calm demeanor is welcomed and sought out by her peers, as she is an excellent listener and supportive colleague who exudes optimism and an unwavering belief in our students' ability to achieve at high levels. Her students love her class and describe her as amazing, helpful, welcoming, kind, understanding, and more. One student recently nominated Kristen for our Staffordy Award, stating, Ms. Cable is a great teacher because she is great at explaining the subjects and keeping the students' attention. Ms. Cable makes learning fun. Congratulations, Kristen.
I'm not that nice, Miss Reeves. You have to come up. Stand over there. Miss <laughs> Reeves, uh, in true uh, servant leadership form, she does not like the awesome to have her up here. Uh, Miss Reeves worked countless hours as a sixth grade teacher at Ocean View uh, to serve all of our students. And when I say all of our students, I mean all of our students. She's an incredible collaborator with our special education program and including those students in everything from the field trips that she uh, uh, organizes for our sixth grade, uh, from the, fun, from the uh, plays that she organizes for our sixth grade. Everything that she does, she does it for our students. Uh, she's an absolutely amazing teacher and I'm thankful and I'm a better person for having worked with you. Thank you for that opportunity. Keep an eye out on Mrs. Reeves. She's going great. She's going to do great things. She's going places. Congratulations. I think I'm supposed to touch this thing. How's that? I don't really need it, actually. Is this good? We're OK? My friends in the back? OK. I'm Michelle Johnson. I'm the principal at Oceano Elementary School. And I would like to invite Anna Christina Nimpic up to me. <laughs> We've done plenty of crying, she and I. I'm trying not to look at her. <laughs> On the day that we announced it to our staff, um, I would just share with you, I thought, okay, I'm going to a PD session. I'm going to come in. And I, I was granted a few minutes by Artosis. Come in, have, do the whole thing. Next thing you know, 15, 20 minutes later, here comes her whole family into the office, because I had invited them, but then I had my timing off. So I walk back in, I go, hi. I have more of my friends here. So we all came back in. It was super fun. It was super fun. OK. All right. So I uh, would echo what Jen Bowen said about, you know, we're expected to write a paragraph about someone who's amazing. And it is really tough. I have a very short paragraph. OK. This is Christina's first year at Oceano. And man, has it been huge. She serves as our newcomer teacher and has set a high standard for student success. She has organized and has she has organized and facilitated multiple school-wide cultural experiences and has created a safe space for her students. She epitomizes connection, compassion, and commitment and has been an inspiration to our staff and to me. I have learned a lot, let me tell you. Um, we are proud of all that she has shared and accomplished this year. This is her first year teaching and she was selected by our staff. So that says a ton in and of itself. Principal of Paulding. I'm going to invite Becky Mo on. A <laughs> All right. So Becky is an exceptional educator and a crucial team member in Paulding Special Department. She has a big heart and is a passionate advocate for all students. She does not hesitate to volunteer to help students and staff. This year, she is leading multiple student lunchtime clubs and is currently coordinating Paulding's school-wide end-of-the-year Lib Dub production. Ms. Mo truly puts students first. She is greatly admired and respected by both students and our staff. Paulding is so thankful to have her as part of our team.
Good evening, everyone. I'm James Snyder, principal at Shell Beach Elementary School. And Nancy, they truly are saving the best for last, so come on up. <laughs> so I, I too, have a, a paragraph to talk about Nancy and how incredible she is. She is a straight shooter. Nancy, she will just, she tells you what she thinks in all the best possible ways. And I know the people that have worked with Nancy would agree. But what she always focuses on is the students. And what she always focuses on is making sure she's uh, supporting the <coughs> staff. So uh, short, shortly put, that is what I appreciate most about you. And we're going to miss that a lot. Uh, Nancy is retiring at the end of the year. You may have, <laughs> you may have seen that she uh, got a retirement award. So it looks like her. <laughs> is there another one that we don't know about at this point? No? Okay. All right. So uh, Nancy's been a teacher in the CMR for 23 years. I thought it was 20. Get them mixed up. <laughs> we'll round it off. We'll round it off. All right. uh, she's been a teacher at Shell Beach for 10 years. Uh, we've been extremely fortunate to have her as a part of our staff. Uh, she was a classroom teacher for most of the time at our school. The past two years, she has been, and one year, she has been, in a, a one long year, she has been an intervention <laughs> teacher. Um, but she provides that tier three intervention support. Uh, we know the teachers we put in that classroom have to be effective, and you're truly right. Are retiring at the end of the year, I know I speak for the whole staff at Shell congratulating you on this award and on your retirement. We're going to miss you a lot. I am Sarah Butler, principal of Central Coast New Tech High School. I'd like to invite Jess Ingdahl up, please. <laughs> so who is Jess Ingdahl? Well, she is amazing, number one. And she is uh, on our leadership team. She is our department chair for science. She, I'm gonna, keep, I'm gonna hold it together here. Uh, she, she's our biology teacher and department biology. She's also an avid teacher. She's a teacher trainer for New Tech Network, a certified teacher for New Tech Network. But more than that, she is, the queen of collaboration. She is <laughs> I'm trying to dramatic effect here. You're doing it. Yeah, I'm doing it. <laughs> okay. Queen of collaboration and the I will do it person at our school. Our culture is made stronger every year because of her and her attention to rigor, her attention to community, her attention to high expectations. Your Direwolf family is so proud that you are our Teacher of the Year for 2023, and above that, that you are the District Teacher of the Year.
we have one more special award, but before we do that one, we'd like to have a like a shoulder. <laughs> I've been smiling just Baby D. <laughs> Just assuming D's back. <laughs> I'd like to invite Maribel Ortiz. <laughs> Maribel is was chosen as the as CSEA's class of of the year, and so we're joined by Ms. Shimandel, her principal, Chavez CSEA Chapter 275 president, and I'm going to let Ms. all the praise. <laughs> With pleasure. <laughs> so <clears throat> I have the honor of working with Ms. Maribel every day, and she exempl exemplifies the definition of the glue of a community. Um, she's been at Lang since the day we opened, and she has her heart um, for all the students, and she is the mama in our community. And <laughs> if anybody has a need, she will find a way to help that family out, to help the child or staff member. She's the one that a staff member who uh, gets in, uh, runs out of gas, they're going to be contacting Maribel uh, to come and rescue them. She has rescued me before from Costco when I was buying storage containers during COVID because I couldn't fit them in my car. But overall, it's just she, um, she is at our school every day, all day, into the evening, because she cares so much about our community and our school, and she is the glue that holds us together, and she's our, <laughs> she's our, our, our special um, leader of our school, too. I, I couldn't do it alone, and she's always there to help, and she is there for all of us. Thank you.
I just want to close by acknowledging how much love is in the room and we need this love to carry us through the end of the year and so jar it up in your heart spread it with those you care about and thank you for coming please enjoy us for a short reception after. thank you